It's too sexy. It's too sexy and I know it. Maybe. Maybe it's okay. Quizás it's okay in, in, in Spanish. Quizás. No in Londres. No in, that, in London. In all of the UK. I make that song. When you go along and I get. And all the girls say that. Oh. And it's not okay. It's dangerous. And I know that you didn't know what you were coming for. I think I know. You thought, hey, we're gonna go see Christmas Boy. He's gonna sing Christmas songs. No Christmas songs. No. I make songs for sex. This, this is a baby making concert, is what it is. And maybe, maybe you don't know what you're feeling right now with all these musicians playing the sexy music for you. But my style is the notion. Move ladies. See? And for you, you know, su novia, su novia, dice, ah, quieres mi nombre con bule, vamos a conocer con bule. Okay, mi amor, okay. No, no, no. You're welcome. <laughs> Chicas, mujeres. Let's make some more baby making music. The voice, the TV show, the voice. I would, I would turn my chair for you. Yes, I would. Mi sueño es tener una tour con todo, con con ustedes. So many buses, we can drink booze every night, eat gummies. Sí. It's also my dream to sing this song for you. I wrote this song with my friend Ryan Tether, and I liked it so much, I named the record after it. I named the whole tour after it. I hope you dig it. It's called Higher. <laughs> Say hello to him. It's like a Japanese bow you did. I like that. Very international. Folks, I uh, have a big, beautiful, talented group of musicians. And it's so nice to hear. It might, might be nice to just be very intimate and uh, for just Roy and I to hold hands and to sing a song together. This is, uh, I think, maybe the most beautiful song in the world ever. It was written by Charlie Chaplin in 1642. It's called Smile. That's good. One. I had a, a really beautiful interview with a, a very sweet journalist before the show, and I was talking about how much I love to, uh, to sing the covers, you know, the old songs, and how much I love to write new ones. And uh, this is a, a song I'm very proud of. I wrote during the pandemic break. It's called I'll Never Not Love You. And I want to thank you for making the hit. Let's do it. Yeah, thank you. I stand on the shoulders of my heroes, and uh, I remember singing the first time with Tony Bennett, and I was nervous, and I said, Tony, I stole so much from you. I stole so much from you, and Frank, and Dean, and Ella, and Sarah, and Louie. And he said, and he said, kid, if you steal from one, you're just a thief. But if you steal from everybody, it's research. And so, 
I continue to steal. This is a, a tribute tonight to one of my heroes, uh, Elvis Presley, who I loved growing up. I think we all did. And uh, I was lucky enough to get to uh, just get to be a little small part of his life. And uh, we sang, a, I got to sing a song with him, a posthumous song. And tonight we have this beautiful movie out and the Academy Awards. They're up for all those. And I felt like it might be a nice tribute to, uh, to one of the greats. So if it's okay, I'm gonna sing the song that we sang together called Fever. Let's do it. My family, please help me in rewarding the most incredible musicians on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, the musicians. I love you too much. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to do this for my life. I want to thank you for giving musicians a beautiful place to play and make a living. I can't wait to see you again, and I'll miss you till I do. I love you so much. Yeah.